Hey, first of all, before we start, look at this. This is a Father's Day gift that I got. Q's 24 for my wife and my kids. The number one coach. This is pretty cool. I usually never ever wore a whistle my entire career. That was the first time I wear it. It's nice. pretty cool. Pretty nice. I think so. Yeah, we're good. Coach, I can hold on. Do I gotta hold this? <laughs> no, 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 no. Sorry. Um, Fran, you said yesterday, like, nerves a little set in, getting ready for the first season. Feel like nerves were relieved a little this morning with practice? What was your first impression today? I was good. Um, it was cool. We got out here early, listened to a little bit of Nita Baker, Angel. Just played that the whole time, like, in the pre practice and just got to relax. I used to listen to that a lot when I was little with my grandmother. And so, like, I was just kind of cool. It kind of eased me out, you know. Ready to go once I got out there. It's kind of got to lead now. Got to lead. Got to coach everybody. Players, coaches. So it was, it was fun though. Offense looks like is the one doing up downs out there. Are they they on the lower end of practice today. Like what's? No, it's just uh, you know we're not gonna have like uh, penalties. You know something that um. I watched Coach Monken do, and I thought he did an amazing job, and he stuck to it. And that's something I probably said that I ever get an opportunity to be in a position I'm in that I would do that. So shout out to Coach Monken, Baltimore Ravens, good luck to him. But seeing Coach Monken do that, and uh, Coach Bobo did it, and they both were extremely successful. So seeing those guys do it, I said, you know, we're going to do the same thing. Can't get like penalties that don't require talent. So that's how we're going to fix that. Any position group or players that you felt won the day today and did a really good job? Uh, they all competed. Everybody had ups and downs. The monotony of football today. So they all did a good job. It was pretty cool. What kind of progression do you want to see in the quarterback room beyond Kyle? Kyle seems to. I want to see them all take steps. I want to see them compete. And every day, I would like to see a different guy go. I want them. I want it to be extremely hard for the coaching staff to decide who's the next guy. You know, and I want it to be hard. I thought uh, Little Four or Jacory had a good day today, and um, also MJ did. You know, and then there were some throws that uh, Carlos threw that were extremely good. So like those guys competed, and that's what we need. I want them to push. I want them to come to me and say, Coach, like, I should get some of the reps from Kyle. You know, that's what I'm hoping that we can develop that because then that will help us because we are building a program, not just a football team. So we want to make sure that uh, guys will be able to go in the fourth quarter and do an amazing job for the team. First couple of days, obviously, not in full pads. What are you trying to accomplish? Uh, just gonna you... Make sure that you're in real football shape. See, everyone in the country runs, and you do all the running you can do, and you have all those things set, and you run a lot, but it's nothing like lining up playing ball. You know, being able to play football and running around and chasing a football. So just getting ourselves into playing shape, not just con strength and conditioning, you know. So just getting in shape so that way when we go out there, we won't be bending. We won't, we'll all still be able to bend and strike the right way. and We won't be waist bending and reaching. And you won't you prevent injuries once you get into really good shape. Now, have you seen the players who were here in spring practice kind of adjust to the culture that you've been trying to set here? Um, I demand that we all do it, players, coaches, and myself first and foremost. So I demand that, you know, you follow what Darla is. It's not, it's not negotiable. You know, you're going to do that in everything that you do. You know, start with our feet. You know, we push. So that's a, it's really a non-negotiable. They know like, you know, everybody's doing it. Like, if I'm opposite, I just won't fit in. And I just came here. So I need to do what I got to do because it's the reason you left wherever you were. Now you get to come here. Some left because we kind of liked each other, different things of that nature. But then you got some that are coming here because, you know, they feel they wanted a different start. And they wanted a good culture. Now those guys get a chance to do it, and we're going to follow it. You know, it's not negotiable. And what are some of the improvements that you've seen from spring ball to now if you're starting off training camp? Oh, we're just a tighter team. Care about each other more. Play for each other more. Understand the way practice is supposed to go. We fly around. can be even faster. Our guys fly around and we practice. You notice at the end of practice, you don't need to run as much because you run all practice. So, good job. I understand you had a spring with them, but as far as instillment time, uh, where do you think this team stands offensively uh, with, with Kyle under, under center? He's our leader. We're going to follow him. I think he's intelligent. He understands the offense. He knows the ins and outs of the offense. Um, he can run out there, and he knows where we're at on the field and what plays he wants to call. So, I mean, if Coach Nixon decided to uh, not be here one day, then, you know, he said, Kyle, you call it. You know, nah, I mean, Coach Johnson would do a great job, but Kyle knows what to call, where to call at, and what we're looking for, how to move downfield. He's that kind of guy. He's intelligent. On both sides of the ball, like how far along in terms of like installing the playbook are you guys? Like how much more needs to be done before week one? You just got to go back over it again. You know, we just got to keep going over it, keep fine tuning things, be detailed. You know, you just got to be, with everything it is, you got to follow your core values. Like, you know, I always, people are like, I keep saying that, but like, that's just what it is. Like, are you detailed enough in that playbook? Are we holding each other accountable to know it? You know what I mean? And are you relentless after knowing it? 
and will you be tough? You fight through things, will you fight through all? It's, I'm really tired, I know I gotta bend, I gotta get to the tackles hit, am I gonna be able to do that? And that's a part of that play, but when I don't do that, guess what happened? He strikes right in my gap. When I think I wanna make a play and I'm not gonna trust the three tech, so I go inside to the opposite gap, and then now he hits my gap. Those little things that you gotta fine tune and make sure when they do it, you gotta see it and don't, 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 don't. do your job, you know, do your job, so just that. Has anything surprised you? Uh, you know, now that now that things are for real and we're four weeks pretty much away from from starting the season. Nah, I mean, you know what it was yesterday. It changed. And it don't really change. You know, I'm uh, one that believes that uh, leopards don't change their spots. Zebra stripes stay the same. And it is what it is. But you get better and you get more confidence. So as guys get confidence, and they'll be even better players. But I mean, I'm not surprised that Avante Gaddison can catch the football. You know what I mean? I'm not surprised that. He catches a lot of passes covered. You know, I'm not surprised that uh, Elijah Clark can cover. You know, he can play the post really well. So all those things aren't surprising. You know, not surprised that uh, 23 has the ability to make plays, but he also has the ability to give up plays because he isn't as detailed as he needs to be. So we have to fine tune him in the culture. So not surprised about this. Not, not surprised the COG can catch it, but how reassuring was it to see that, that play early on? We got to watch practice. Went right down the sideline on a big game. It's like, gets back on the field last time he's back at it. It's like, yes, go at him again. <laughs> it's like, hey, do not fall on it. You know what I mean? Some of the guys stay off of it, but uh, just want to make sure he competing and get the other guy on, sharp and iron. So he was going against a player that could play and just getting him better and making sure that when he catches it, they'll tuck it and go. Don't tech catch it and be happy and then I get tackled. Catch it, tuck it and go. That's the difference. Being able to make OG has to take it to another level. Really good player, loves football, has to do it, but I need him to take it to another level. You know, there's more, there's a little bit more nastiness and a little bit more dog in him that's there. You know, he's he has it all. He's ready. He's kind of just chill. If you come mess with him, he's going to bite. And I kind of, I just want to say, like, I want, I want him to go get him. I want to do it. You know, so, but he's kind of. Is OG at full speed? speed? Get to the players? Is OG at full speed or still a couple of steps in his recovery before he's at 100%? No, he's good. He good. He good. He good. On What's the next? Of Aranda, um, what of what development have you seen from the other tight ends in the room? Dan Valari, Max Mang, yeah. Jamie Tremble. They're the toughest group on the team. Yeah, coach does a good job with them. They work their butts off. I'm excited. I'm thankful for them. Uh, Max Mang, block his butt off, catch the ball. Uh, Dan Valari, catch the ball, block his butt off, and Jamie Tremble's coming up. But then don't, don't forget uh, Clement. You know, David Clement is a. Uh, like a freak show, you know what I mean? We got something that, I mean, guys, we could go 14 personnel. So it's, you know, I like all four of the tight ends that we got. You know, those guys do an amazing job. So I'm very thankful for all of those guys. They, they're good players. And at any moment we want, Adele Diggs comes over and he plays tight end for us also. So our tight end room is loaded. Coach, how do you feel the guys respond today walking to practice from the dorms? You got no choice. <laughs> <laughs> they better have fun, they better enjoy it, you know? I would have fun with it. I would, I would, I would, if I were them, I would get. I would start getting water balloons, and I would be careful for the nighttime. Uh, we don't throw anything, but during the daytime, oh, some certain couple guy, I'll be waiting in bushes and I. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like I would make it fun, you know. And I think I'm gonna do that with the coaches. So they come at them and get them. I know a bunch of them. They all, you know, they cut uh, their facial hair off. A bunch of the guys on the defensive side done that. They told me to do it, but I said I had to speak with the media today. <laughs> so I think I'll do it tonight. <laughs> Just tonight, mess with them to see. But, but there was no way I was coming on here the first day without a mustache. It <laughs> wasn't happening. But they got half fun, man. That's. That's what brings it together. You know, that's football. It's hot. They upset. We need more fans. It's hot. Yeah, that's the same way I was in college. I want you to feel what I feel. You know, I want you to see what happened here a long time ago and why they won because that brought them closer together. So we're just trying to repeat history. What's that next level for Cal McCord? The next level for yeah. Cal? After, like, leaving college? No. Next level oh, like that he here? has to take it to him. I'll just keep leading. Like, when, he, when something bad goes wrong, just seeing him respond to adversity. Like... See, I'm a little bit different than everybody else. Like, I got I got different opinion on Kyle. Like, you know, I think that Kyle was uh, one of the better players in the entire country. So I would like for him to be able to take this team and lead this team as far as we possibly can go. If he can maximize all the guys, because, like, I'm the head coach. But, like, after the head coach becomes Kyle McCord, and will those guys play for him that much? Are they going to care about him and love him that much and be able to see that? So when he can get that out of everybody, he and I, it'll be for the, if you see Kyle McCord take us, where we feel that we want to go at then I mean, that's the next level for him because then that means there'll be success for him for the rest of his life. And that's all I want for that kid. And I want to make sure that he's extremely successful. It means a lot.
Thanks, Coach. Thanks, Coach.